Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Mikhail. I'll be taking you through today's workout, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get started with a quick warm-up. So go ahead and start with some neck rolls. So go ahead, get nice and loose, nice and relaxed. And you're going to bring this neck around in nice, gentle circles, all right? So go all one way to start. And then after a little bit, I'll give you a cue and we'll switch directions, all right? We're going to do two more this direction. And final one. And go ahead and switch. Now we're going the other way. Nice and controlled, nice and loose. We'll do two more. And last one. Very nice. Next up. And have these arms out. We're doing arm circles now. We just did neck circles, now arm circles. We'll start going forward. You can start off nice and small if you want to slowly get bigger as you go on with the time. Feel free to do that. We're going to go ahead and bring these around in a circle. And five, four, three, two, and switch directions. Now go backwards. All right, make sure everything stays nice upright. You're only moving those arms, all right? Again, if you want to start small, get it a little bigger as time goes on, feel free. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax your arms. Next up, we're going to do some nice arm hugs. You just swing these in and out, almost like a hug or even like scissors. You can rotate, uh, switch back and forth to which arm's on top, which one's on bottom. So you're going to rotate these in and out, swing them back and forth. If you want a lower body workout uh, to, into your warm-up as well, you can add in a small little lunge behind, add in a little bit of lower body movement, all right? Get your legs going, get your arms going, keep your arms nice and relaxed. As you lunge, you shouldn't have any knee discomfort. So you should try to keep um, like a nice 90 degree bend in that front knee, making sure that that knee doesn't drift beyond those toes, all right? And I just, <laughs> that's the plant. <laughs> Make sure you have plenty of room. <laughs> Move any obstacles in your way. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and march in place next, all right? Keep your body nice and upright, chest up. And just swing opposite arm, opposite legs, all right? Try to get those knees up off the ground. And we'll go for five, four, three, Two and one, go ahead and relax. Next up, rotate side to side. So you're gonna widen your base a little bit, get your feet just beyond those shoulders, and you're gonna rotate side to side. You can keep everything nice and loose. Keep your body loose. You can even have a little bit of movement in those hips as well. Just letting everything kind of rotate. And just like the play in the corner that I just hit. <laughs> Nice and loose, nice and rotate side to side like those leaves. And five, four, three, two, and one. Next up, we're gonna go heel to toe raises. So you can do this next to a wall or countertop if you want the aid and balance. You're gonna go up on your toes and then back on your heels, all right? Up on your toes, back on your heels. When doing balance, I'll kind of iterate, reiterate this throughout it. And those of you that take this class know, belly button in, nice soft knees, all right? So as you're doing this, you're coming straight up and slightly backwards, all right? You want to try to keep yourself in a fairly straight line. You don't want to bend too far forward or too far back. That will throw off your balance, all right? It'll make it harder to stay upright. So make sure you're upright. If you have a nice soft bend, see those soft knees. I'm not pinned straight and I'm not too bent, just a nice, Nice and soft, keep this belly button in. Those two will help you with balance throughout it. We're going to go ahead and do five more. So here's five and four, three, two, and final one. Very nice. Next up, we're getting a balance stance. So there's four different options for this. You can have feet together. You can put one foot in front of the other, kind of like a staggered stance. You can go heel to toe, or you can go single leg, all right? Pick which one you want to start with, and 
We're just gonna do on that balance dance and add in some head turns, all right? With this stance, if you say if you do the heel to toe or the toe in front of the other one, the closer you get this front foot to the back foot, the more challenging it will be. So you can even start out a little farther. As you feel it getting easy, you can kind of slowly move your way in, all right? As your balance gets better and better. And you're adding those head turns. If you want a little more of a challenge, you can even add in some nose touches as you go to the side that you're turning your head to. All right, there you go, finger to nose and finger to nose. And we're gonna switch feet. If you're on any of the balance stances that required one foot in front of the other or a single leg, go ahead and switch feet. And here we go. Again, you can turn the nose, turn your head, touch the nose, the fingers, back and forth. And nice little touches. Again, soft knees, belly button in. And five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. So the next up, what we're gonna do, make sure you have a little bit of space. We're gonna do a squat into some lateral steps. All right, so what you're going to do is do a nice squat, stand up, and take like three or so steps to this side, all right? If you only take two steps, or one step, it's all right, just go as far as counting you can, all right? So anywhere between one to three steps is good. So you're gonna squat, stand all the way up, and then take steps to the side, all right? And then squat, come all the way up, and step to the side, all right? When you squat, I want you sinking your hips back and then standing all the way up before you go into those steps, right? Focus on each individual movement, go at your own pace. Don't forget to rush through it either. And as you sink these hips back, you're keeping your chest up and you're preventing your knees from drifting beyond those toes, all right? Almost like you're sitting right back into a chair, you're standing all the way up and then stepping to the side, all right? You can either do small steps or you can even bring the foot all the way into the other one, all right? Based on how challenging you want it to be. You can keep your arms either by your side as so, I like to just keep up on my chest. Sometimes it reminds me to keep my chest up and everything back. All right? We'll do one more each direction. And again, you don't have to go all the way down to a parallel. You do just a nice little quarter squat. Does the job, all right? And all set with this one. Next up, we're gonna do an exercise with some dumbbells. So if you do not have any dumbbells, feel free to use anything you can hold in your hand, whether it's a water bottle, soup, Laundry detergent even works. Um, we're gonna just go through the motions with it, all right? So what we're gonna do is alternating side raises. If you have any shoulder issues, instead, I'm gonna have you alternate hammer curls, all right? If not, with your feet, you can have them about shoulder width apart. You're gonna raise this arm to the side, back down, and then the other arm, all right? You're going to this shoulder height or just below. You're not going above it, all right? You can go relatively light on this exercise, you don't have to go very heavy. Sometimes you even don't even have to go beyond five pounds. All right, you're just gonna alternate back and forth. As you're doing it, um, only your shoulder and arm are moving. You shouldn't have to kind of move your body to get that weight up. If you do, so you know it's a little too heavy. But again, any shoulder issues, you're alternating a hammer curl, keeping your elbows by your side. All right, if not, one of these side shoulder aims, all right? Go ahead and do three more each. All right, so here's three. And two. And final one. Perfect. Place these dumbbells off to the side. Next up, what we're gonna do is get your feet together and do some forward leans, all right? So the closer you get your feet, more challenging it will be. So you can even start, if you want, a little wider base. The closer you have them together, more difficult. So you're going to have them together. You're going to shift the weight from the, your heels onto your toes. And you're just going to slightly lean forward and then lean back. All right? You need to hold on to a wall to kind of get your bearings. Feel free. But go just as far as you're comfortable. Even a small little shift of weight here. You want to try to keep everything nice and straight. And you're shifting forward and back. All right, again, if you want wall, hold on for your bearings. Feel free to do that. 
but it's just a small shift from that heel to the toe. All right, keeping everything relatively straight. And really using your strength and your balance to keep yourself up. All right. Again, if you have your feet a little bit wider, make it a little bit easier on you. If you feel like you want to challenge, you can have your feet together as you do this. All right, just a nice slow lean forward, slow lean back. Take your time on this one, don't feel like you have to rush through, all right? Just nice, gentle forward, gentle backwards. We're gonna do three more, all right? So here's three. And two. And last one. Do the same thing, now side to side. So you're going to shift your weight from one leg to the other leg. Same thing, if you want to widen your base a little bit, do it this way, sway from left to right. You can even, again, hold on to a wall, kind of give you, or a countertop in front of you, or even facing the wall this way, you can do it that way. Or, the closer you get your feet together, more challenging will be, so you can sway from one leg, and then shift your weight to the other, right? Just small little shifts back and forth, again, trying to keep everything relatively straight, really using your balance and some of your strength to keep you nice and straight and upright. All right. Again, you can widen your base a little bit, shift from side to side from each foot. Or if you can slowly even start to close that gap between your feet as it goes on, make it a little more challenging for yourself. And we're going to go ahead and do three more. So here's three. And two. And last and final one. Very nice. Next up, we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg raises, all right? It's going to lift one leg up to the side, bring it back in. If you want to challenge, lift the opposite arm up and back down at the same time, all right? Lift up and down. Feel free to hold on to something if you'd like. Give yourself a little bit of aid and balance. And out and in. Nice and controlled. Again, this leg will be nice and soft. It will aid your balance if it's nice and soft and not completely straight. All right. Go ahead and do three more this side. Here's three. And two. And final one. Very nice. Go ahead and shake out your legs a little bit, a little bit of a march. We're going to switch legs, switch arms, all right? So we're going to bring this leg out to the side and back in, okay? Then if you want that challenge, add in that opposite arm, opposite leg, back in, all right? Lift that up at the same time and back down. Nice and controlled. Simple movements. Soft knee, belly button in. Really focus on controlling that movement. We'll do three more. And three. Two. And final one. Very nice. Go ahead and shake it out. We'll do a quick march, all right? Chest up, opposite arm, opposite leg. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Next up, we do calf raises, but with the toes pointed inwards, all right? So instead of being straight on, point inward like a flying bee, like those birds that are heading south for winter very, very soon. I've already seen a couple. Kind of sad. Means it's officially fall now, which means the winter will be here soon. So you're up on those toes and back down. All right, soft knees, belly button in. Up on those toes. Nice control movement. So you can add a slight pause to the top and the bottom, make it a little more challenging. And a nice slow lower. And slowly go down, make it a little more challenging on your, on your calf muscles and your balance. And we're gonna go ahead and do three more and three. Two and final one. Very nice. Next up, we're gonna do a hip flexor stretch. So you can do this next to, again, a wall or countertop, something to help with balance. 
You'll have one leg in front of the other one. The front leg is going to be bent. The back leg will be straight. You're going to kind of shift your weight forward into this front leg, keeping this back leg straight, and you'll feel a stretch either in the front of this leg. You might even feel one in the back of your leg if you don't have tight your calves on. So again, back leg straight, and you'll slowly kind of shift your weight forward through these hips, everything facing forward. You do it by bending his knee. You don't feel anything. Sometimes you can widen your base a little bit and kind of go that way and slowly lean into that, all right? You can feel that stretch, you'll hold it. You need to rest your arms on this leg. You can even just hold on to something. However, it's the best way for you to do it, all right? And we'll hold it for a little longer. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and straighten that leg and switch legs. Now the opposite leg, back one bent, arm um, straight, sorry, forward one bent, and lean into that front leg, all right? Keeping everything pointed forward, those toes, your chest up. Again, if you wanna hold on to something, or rest them on your opposite, the leg that's in front, feel free to do that. And we're gonna hold it. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, come up. Our last exercise standing before our break and move to the floor is a tightrope walk. So you're gonna be yourself again a little bit of space. You can do a heel toe walk. So you can either you can do this along the wall too. Sometimes having the wall there, you can lean against it or kind of have your hand along there. If you want the aid in that balance, you go heel to toe. So you can either go some space between your steps or you can go directly heel to toe as you walk, all right? Again, the closer you get those feet in together, the more challenging it will be. So you can even start out with wider steps and then slowly bring them in once you're more confident, all right? And here you go, it's a nice tightrope walk. Again, if you want a wall to help guide you, give you a little bit of aid, feel free to do that. And then if you want a challenge, you can even do them backwards, all right? Heel toe going backwards. If not, feel free just to turn around and come back forward, all right? Same thing, we'll go heel toe walk forward. You're on a tight rope, get ready for the circus. And then backwards, all right? And then forward again. Again, if you don't wanna go backwards, feel free to just turn around, go back forwards the other way, all right? We'll do two more each direction. And forward. You don't have to go very far either. You can get in three, four steps should be good. Depending on how much space you have. And last and final one. Here we go. And last one with back. And there we go. So next up, we're moving to the floor. Feel free to take a water break. You can either go on the floor, or if you want to go onto a bed, feel free to do that. You can even have a pillow under your head. That's the most comfortable for you while we do these exercises. So take a quick break, get some water, and we'll finish with just a few on the floor, all right? Michaela, do we need weights for this? You will not need weights for this. All right, thank you. Of course, good question. As everyone finds their way down the floor, gets ready for these next exercises, I'll start to explain the last few we're doing, all right? So you're gonna go ahead and start, go on your side. 
that you're going to do, keeping those hips stacked over, you can either have your arm underneath your head, or if you want a pillow there, feel free to do that. You can even have it up like this, whatever is most comfortable for you. Keeping these hips stacked over each other, you're going to raise this leg up and back down, all right? Now we're going to add in a knee bend. So you're going to lift this leg up, bend it in towards your body, like a 90 degree angle, and back out, all right? If you're not comfortable with that, you can even do just the side leg raises. Or if you want to add in that extra step, you can do the knee bend and back out, all right? Go as far as your range of motion lets you, even if it's a small bend here. Do that, or if you can get it up to this like 90 degree mark, almost like it's bringing up like a rubber foot, all right? And here we go, either side leg raises, or if you want to add in the knee bend, feel free to add that in, all right? And we're going up, in, extend out, and lower, all right? Nice controlled movements. If you are doing the knee bend, you don't have to lift up that leg very high off the opposite leg. You need to keep it nice and short. We're going to do three more. And here's three. And two. And last one. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and switch legs. Now on your side, again, you can have the arm underneath your head or a pillow. So again, keeping these hips stacked, you can either just do straight the leg raises on the side or add in this knee bend, extend out and lower. All right, and here we go. Lift this leg up, bend that knee in, extend it back out and lower. All right, nice control movement. Either have this arm kind of rested on your side, you can have it rested in front of you. Whatever's most comfortable for you. Again, raise this up, raise that leg in, stand back out, and lower. We're going to go ahead and do three more. And three. And two. And last one. Very nice. Go ahead on your back next. We're going to do straight leg raises, all right? It's going to be on your back. You have one leg bent. The other one will be straight. Keeping this toe flex pointed towards the ceiling, all right? You can have your arms by your side. Raise this leg up. You can go to the height of that opposite leg or just as high as the range of motion lets you. So you can just lift it off the floor as far as you can, all right? So you can raise it up. You can go to the height of the other leg and back down, all right? For straight leg raises. If you have any sort of low back pain, you do a pelvic tilt. So that means rotating these hips towards the floor. You're decreasing the space between the back and the floor. You're just kind of shifting this down. You'll hold it and then relax, all right? If you don't have any low back pain, you're comfortable with the exercise, continue with the straight leg raises, all right? Go ahead and do three more and three. Two and final one. Very nice. Go ahead and switch legs. Now extend out the opposite one, toe pointed towards the ceiling, and raise this leg up and back down. All right. Again, the maximum height you go is the height of that other leg. I want nice control movements. If you want a challenge, you can have like a slight pause. When you bring it down, don't bring it all the way down the floor. You can like hover it above it and bring it up and down. If not, it's perfectly okay to rest on the floor between each rep, all right? We're going to do three more. So here's three. Two and final one. Very nice. We're going to finish with a quick stretch. We're going to do a butterfly stretch on your back, all right? So keeping these feet together. You're going to kind of drop your knees down to the floor, keeping your feet together, all right? And you're going to drop them as far as you can. You can, some people, you can go down the floor or even just a slight open. Not everyone can always bring them all the way down. You can even have a slight push if you'd like. But either way, you're going to ease into the stretch. Don't feel like you have to force yourself into the full stretch, all right? You'll feel a stretch all the inside of your legs, all right? When you do this stretch, so again, go as far as you're allowed if, as your motion lets you go. Um, and if you want to have just even a slight little push, 
feel free to do that, all right? And again, you ease into stretches. You don't want to force it all at once. So you'll notice that as you stretch, sometimes your muscles, they'll loosen. They'll know that you're stretching and it's safe for them to do so. And you'll ease into it, all right? And we'll go for 10 more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. And that concludes Strong and Balanced today. Thank you everybody for joining.